Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Monster Hunter Frontier Z Sanity for your favorite host from Dark Lord. That's my show and today we'll be finding Kura Kura Supusu. Quite a tongue twister for me, but then again. I've never tried to pronounce it before. Unlike Dure Madeira. Or dear agua. I went to the house where it's my bad. Got some more Odola on pal. And we can see what those that iron ore turn into if we go back to the garden. Turn purple. So now let's see what that means. For iron or purple means it doubled. on this ear real quick. This is the gear I'm using and these are the stop these are the skills if you want to know. But I always wanted to make sure that something doesn't hurt me as much as it should. <laughs> powder does. Curious the user of the of those nearby who have been affected by paralysis. That would be a lot more helpful if I had people, but I wonder because I can give sicky uh sicky items, so hmm. Probably would work.
he is here, but I don't know where he is. There he is. And I know this is not like a regular monster in the game. There are no intros to new monsters. This is street as an MMO, of course there is. From the information that I know of him, I'm pretty sure he was the beta form of Ignactor. And this, I find this move where he just like pans his head in the ground and swings around is very interesting. And the classic tail flip that most people remember from the Greer Quest. Like him on that. But this is what I find interesting is when what happens when he roars and he makes it rain. That Ooh. damage on that. Two mega pollution worth of damage, but that's one attack. And you want to be very careful of this crystal. Okay, I just got saved by my course. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And keep in mind when it rains, lightning comes down anyway. So you gotta watch out for that. And you see how he put his put his face in the ground there, but he didn't do it. It's a it's a real nice fake out. And you can't see it a mile away because you don't know if he's actually gonna twist himself around and or not. But when he does that, I want to be far, far away from him. I don't mind his light beam attack this much, it's not very damaging if you just don't get hit in it, it only goes in one direction. But a Nactor with his underground sweeping beam, ah that's annoying. But, as you can see, this was all, I believe, before Seregio, so... And that's why I feel like he got that mechanic from. the radios came out in four so and this guy was cutting him out before four I almost didn't know where to block the damage is now no 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 with the tail flip Okay, that's my first time. At least I'm prepared for that with the ancient. Yeah, the two megas. I surprise he hasn't come down to area seven yet.
And as you can see, we have a good amount of crit. That's what I've really been banking on at 45% critical chance. And uh, unlike an actor, he hits the ground really, really hard. I believe that also down to two. I know for sure he's flat for me, so I'm not even gonna try that. This is paired like shark. All he did was wiggle. Because he keeps making it rain, I should take my opening from the piano. I think I'm gonna try and go for the capture. Okay, you got it in 10 minutes. I did take two things, so... Oh, I got a spinning crystal!
<laughs> Quest clear. Nice, another beam crystal. Um, five skills. Claws are actually something that I need a lot of skills and I am bound to get them claws don't come off easy. And currently now I am doing the Hunter Hunter Festival event still. Because the armor sets and weapons that you get from that is very good.